Hi, I'm Rick Sullins, and in this video I'm going to show you how to upload a MEC 217 coding assignment to get all of the stuff into the quiz on OnQ. We're going to rely on you to make sure that you succeed at these coding assignments, and these quiz results are going to be mostly a record of the things that you've accomplished. Later in the term, you can use this code and the abilities you developed to succeed on some of our more detailed assessments. So it's important to do these coding tests, succeed at them, in order to have a successful result at the end of the term. I've opened up the starter sketch so that I've got something to work with. When you're making your own assignments, you'll want to save them safely somewhere away from the uh, downloaded uh, resource files. You might notice this says I'm using an application called Teensy Duino. That's just a modified version of the Arduino IDE that also works with Teensy microcontrollers. Don't worry about the difference between Arduino and Teensy Duino for this course. I ran into a USB problem where it couldn't find the board. First thing to do whenever this happens is double click on the uh, reset button on your uh, itsy bitsy. The light should turn from red to green and, uh, and be ready to talk to the serial port and it should be visible again. If that doesn't work, you can try more drastic steps. So it compiled successfully, and I'm getting some output on the serial plotter. I can take that output, uh, take a screen grab of it, using whatever mechanism works on your computer, and store it in the same place as my code so that I can make the submission in the quiz later. Once I've got whatever screen grabs I need stored, I can compress the whole directory so that I can submit it with the quiz. How you create a compressed zip file will really depend on which operating system you're using. Clean things up, open OnQ, and navigate to the quiz for that week's uh, assignment submission. Uh, yours will, of course, look different because you're not the instructor, but this will give us a preview of the quiz that should look just like yours uh, in, in all practical aspects. Once in the quiz, I need to add the image, then make some comments, both inside the edit box here. Click the camera icon, drag and drop your file into the uh, window, you can say that it's decorative, and be sure you add it as an attachment to the quiz. These comments will help you remember what was going on later when you go back to review, and, uh, and they'll also help inform the answers to your questions that you do in the self-assessment. Upload the zip file so you get all of the component code for your solution. Then move on to answer the self-assessment questions. When you're happy that all the results are valid, submit your quiz. You can submit the quiz multiple times and we'll take the most recent version before the deadline. That means you have the opportunity to look at your solutions and go back and maybe do a little better on your code and on your answers to the questions. We'll use the same approach for submission of all of the coding assignments in the course. Best of luck!